starting with Charlie D'Amelio, we can see she had that footwear party for her footwear D'Amelio brand or D'Amelio footwear, excuse me, X Little Lemon, a little collaboration slash pop up event. Turned out to be a fan meetup. There was some funny stuff that happened along the lines that will come up here pretty soon. See a lot of fans taking pictures. And then she has this TMZ van pull up. I doubt this was expected. Kind of just popped out and showed herself there, which is kind of what you would want if you were somebody who was getting a tour on a TMZ bus because they probably aren't here very often. And so when you're out there seeing this kind of thing, a celebrity that you always see on your phone is probably very exciting. And plays here and pictures of the D'Amelios here. I think the event probably turned out well. Next, we got the Nelk story right here. Doing a little bit of a collab with Happy Dad X Live. A lot of influencers there along with OT, Megan, Summer Rae, Sarah Safari. Obviously, Stein is there because he's part of Nelk still. Gabe, who is also a part of Nelk. Summer here and Kyle just kind of chugging some beers, doing it with the things that, you know, influencers do to get fucking views these days. Whatever whatever they do. That's pretty interesting though. Summer Rae DJing the entire thing. Yeah, Stein is right there as well. Kind of just being himself. Kind of being weird. Hopefully, their collaboration went well with Liv. OT Sarah here out in Paris for the Olympics. Got McDonald's. That's crazy. You're in Paris and you got McDonald's. That's insane. Then we got Summer Rae here. Maybe she'll show us a perspective from the the DJ booth of that live party. Uh, I didn't love you. I was just bored. That's crazy. His favorite ex-girlfriend. Um, also kind of crazy. I mean, these are the funniest shirts though. This is a little haul, little thrift store spree, I'm guessing. Then got her doing a little bit of a taste test on this Starbucks drink. Then we got the nails getting done. Unfortunately, we only see this set of nails, not the other set of nails. They still look good. Friendship is very common. And also having super long nails is common. And I don't get why, because I really, I feel like it inconveniences the woman. They have to angle their finger different ways to touch their phone and probably do so many other things. And it might help in some ways, you know, like picking up cards off the ground, coins, but I I mean, I genuinely cannot think of another way where cool pictures. I mean, that looks absolutely edible. I don't know if I did it, but it looks edible. Sarah Safari here on her full-time streaming arc. Is she a full-time streamer? She's dark. She's trying. She's playing Fortnite. If you guys want to check her out, I'm sure she's having fun over there, interacting with chat, interacting with the communities online. It's always fun. Got a comment here. Souls, please. I mean, I'm not going to say please, but W comment. And also got her doing some little back workouts here. We know that's her main style of content. And so what do you guys think about Sarah's back here? She looks pretty strong. I honestly have had it time where my back has looked like that and probably a bit leaner as well not to flex or anything no pause or no pun pause wow but yeah her backs looks good honestly biceps look good as well that said though i would think her consistency would make her biceps a bit bigger i mean honestly i would think she would just be a bit bigger overall maybe i'm wrong maybe i, I don't nothing i'm just saying i would think that she might be a bit stockier because she's been working out for so long but she is strong she is lean another red clickbait line that's just not working i'm gonna say it's highly likely easter dobrik who's featured in this video later is david dobrik's sister all right, let's move on to Bella Porch's story next here. We can see that she's trying to do some recording, take a picture of the dinosaur. She's on a boat here. Who, can you guys remind me who that person is that was in that last picture? Good overall story, though. Nothing crazy. We got Peyton Call. She likes to post a lot of stuff out in nature, so we got some throwbacks here from around two years ago where she was on an island, on a beach, and just kind of vibing with her dog and beautiful sceneries when it comes to her story. Honestly, this right here, though, is a very, very big vibe. Chilling, camping, no TVs or electronics out there. That's honestly such a sweet vibe and last but not least we got the grippers obviously holding herself up on the rock kind of just getting her hair wet all right then we got easter dobrik here 20 years old out of new york city and we got her with her friends here i'm not really sure who that, who that is forgive me um if you guys know you can leave it down below this overall is a cool story because she does a really cool try on haul here and she shows some stuff that she made herself and at the very end near the very end she shows some feet and i'll be honest this could get thrown up on wiki feet she probably doesn't have one i definitely didn't look Great picture, great overall. I would say, honestly, 9 out of 10. Yeah, looks great. Hey, girl, hey. She starts a lot of her stories like that. If you guys are returning viewers to her story, you'll know. Overall, though, that picture of her foot was really nice, really cool overall. Just a well-done toe. Well-done toes, well done. And yeah, here's some of the stuff that she made herself. Looks like a football uniform or something like that. Keep finding stuff in my closet that matches the color. Socks that have pink in them, I guess, definitely match the color. Then we got Griff here, one of the most prolific foot posters on the Snapchat platform, obviously. Got his girlfriend here, Mason and they're out here just kind of doing their daily thing looks like they're cooking a potato uh, God knows what else throwing in the oven flight problem though their grill is out of gas unfortunate now Macy is not a happy camper so they go out to the country take some more pictures and buy a propane tank and Macy's like I'm not carrying that shit fair enough we've got pictures of the stuff that's being ate after it was made and the gas was acquired another more errands more toeless more open-toed shoes overall just uh, another another great story for mr. Griff here we all know this man loves feet and his girlfriend definitely 
loves having her feet done because she loves showing them off and they're always done. They're never not done. I'm, I'm, appre I'm appreciative, okay? They got me. Not gonna lie, this looks absolutely disgusting. I don't know how people eat this kind of stuff that has that many like textures and different combinations. All right, well, yeah, dogs on the counter. Like this is a very common photo they post. Dogs looking good right there, I won't lie. So not mad at it. Next Snapchat story here we got is Lolly. And she kind of just posts aesthetic pictures. Doesn't really do too much on Snapchat. But what would you guys rate her heels out of 10? Honestly, right here, I'd probably give them a 8 or a 9. That was a good picture. Her pictures are always very clean. And her feet always look great. I'll just keep it a buck. So let me know if you guys follow Lolly in the comments down below. If you guys are aware of her content. I'll leave links to all these people's stories down below. Just so it's easier for you guys to find them. Also, another good foot picture right here. Honestly, I'm amazed at how good her feet always look. And she posts a lot of feet pics. She's one of the influencers who posts the most feet pics, if I'm not mistaken. Her, Bad Baby, and Griffin are some of the most dominant foot posting influencers on the platform. And so, what would you guys rate the fit? Hopefully you guys got a good pick. And yeah, great picture of the foot right here again of the feet rate right, her heels one to ten what'd you guys say i'm gonna give them another another eight and a half fuck it leave a like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out